We're gonna start upgrading and we are not gonna stop until we have something stupid. Salvo can be fun. Now when you want to fire, we just go like that. We fired a whole bunch of rockets that destroy pretty much anything in our way. They start at 60 damage, but that's gonna get very much bigger. And that's 60 damage per rocket. And we fire a lot of rockets that can hit a lot of different things. It's not the most accurate, but neither am I, so we're a match made in heaven. Uh, for shield, I just got something that actually boosts our speed and weapon damage. Uh, I didn't really mean to, to be honest, but we'll take extra weapon damage. I'm assuming my mistake means it was meant to be. I just need to be really, really careful uh, about what I do. In particular, not take damage, which isn't my strong suit, so this will be a good run. At least with this weapon, I can be nice and far away from things and maneuver myself, so as long as I'm keeping my distance, I'm mostly going to be free from damage. I think we're going to take the Spectre this time. That way when we need to uh, recover, we can go invisible and hide. And then when we come out, our things are going to do much more damage. Uh, I'm going to increase my weapon uh, projectile velocity and weapon damage next. The quicker these get to their target, the better. So like this guy in front of us has no idea we're here and now he's dead. We definitely take damage fairly easily, so we're going to need to fire more projectiles. I need more numbers of projectiles. Or I just got to be very careful about when I fire them off. They do have a little bit of uh, homing ability. and The large, uh, longer I charge them up for, the more projectiles they're going to fire. Can you not? Thank you. Snipe and Calibrate are both going to be a lot of fun. Uh, your weapon calibrates over time. Calibrating uh, improves projectile spread, targeting, and velocity. We're going to go with Snipe instead. The further our uh, way idiots are, the more damage we're going to do. And that's important because these things will go a long ways. Uh, plus the further away uh, enemies are, the less of our things are going to hit. But that took off like three quarters of this idiot's health already. And we're quick enough to avoid. So uh, we're just going to let our thing build up a little bit and kill you before anything more builds up. But if that was any indication of things to come, we got a pretty good thing going. I'm also going to improve maximum shields uh, just because we're going to need the help. Damage is not at all going to be a problem. Uh, staying alive is. Especially because we get to take a breather in between rounds and we'll see what's showing up. And then we just fire one of those out and pretty much kill the entire screen. We got uh, some kind of elites coming in. Okay, well, they can try and dodge, but good luck. I'm firing a lot of bullets. I'm also going to get uh, efficiency when you're not firing total 20% total regeneration and also 20% shield regeneration. I do take gaps in between firing with this build, uh, mostly because I can just go invisible and hide and regenerate nice and quick. Think this might be an elite. Think he's dead. This might also be an elite. Think he's also dead. Waves like this are probably actually going to be the hardest when there's lots of little idiots going around. I can sort of hide from them and fire like that. But I'm going to need bigger chain reactions of my uh, bombs. Right away I'm going to take regeneration. 40% uh, regeneration. So our regeneration is really strong now. So when we do get hurt, as long as it doesn't one-shot us, we can go invisible and recuperate quite quickly. This is still a pretty brittle build, so I really need to avoid damage. I do want to destroy this signal because those are all good upgrade points. <laughs> We're being attacked by sea mines in space. How stupid are they? I could easily blow these up. Uh, believe it or not, I'm going to get maximum hull strength. Uh, we're turning this into a rather well-rounded build, believe it or not. The drawback on this normally is that it's quite vulnerable. But we're making it stronger and damage will never ever be a problem with this. We are of course going to get stronger and stronger enemies, but so far nothing can hold up to us. We're going to get a 15% rate of fire. I think that just means my whole salvo is going to build up quite a bit quicker. Like now we got 36 of these lined up, so when we fire that it's way overkill also this guy's gonna show up uh we're gonna go around to the non c mine side of this whoops and fire that way to hopefully boast bust through most of his shield that took off all of my shield i don't even know what i just did but we got him uh big idiots coming back We'll go ahead and take out his uh, little guards. Whoops, we're going to run into him for good measure. And he's dead. And once we stop firing, we do go invisible again. So we have really good recovery. I'm going to take blast radius at this point. 10% blast radius. That's going to be helpful just because, uh, believe it or not, the AoE on this is kind of odd. Like if there's a bunch of little things, it's hard for me to kill them all. So bigger explosions are just going to help sort of clear the way for things. Because the one thing that's going to kill me is lots of little idiots on the map. We can take out big ones. The little ones I won't take seriously and then they'll blow me up. I think I'm going to take insane. Incendiary Strike causes weapons to ignite target. If we don't kill things, I don't know if those are all going to stack, but that could be a lot of incendiary. 20% uh, blast radius, I think we're absolutely going to take that. Not only are we going to have lots of explosions, they're going to be very big. Okay, we got something with a health bar showing up. Well, if it isn't my favorite space donut. Uh, before you do anything, let's just go ahead and whoops. Uh, yeah, okay, we're back under control carefully. We're going to cross in not quite here, up here, right into the thing. Good job, me. Okay, we got to get inside of this and then we can fire this off. Because then we're going to let our damage go. Wow, that was a lot of um, missiles. Even I'm impressed with that. Uh, and this is already. It's only going to get worse and worse. Okay, so we are got to move out of the way of the purple orbs, and we got to give that one. The problem with this, I uh, lack a considerable amount of uh, accuracy. 
So, okay, we got him anyway. Accuracy doesn't matter when you have giant explosions. Now we get two elites coming in. We'll get them both at once. I didn't realize these little purple things were enemies. I thought they were bullets. They're so small. This one's kind of interesting. Greatly reduced blast radius, but greatly in uh, increased blast damage. I think that's worth it. I know I said I wanted bigger things for AoE, but I mean, I'm a sucker for damage. Anytime they offer me damage, I'm pretty much going to take it. And our damage is pretty high so far, and that's always my theory. If we kill the enemies before they could be a problem, then we don't have to worry about them. Like, we just wrecked that thing, we got invisible, we wrecked that thing. Where's the desert going to be a little bit more difficult? I should actually fire this way into the map, that way we can actually hit some different idiots. Uh, but we're going to be okay. I'm going to get shield effect radius. We're going to get a uh, more better shield, basically. And more better shield is good for us because we need more better upgrades. Once I guess, I almost feel like a round off because they can't actually see me right now. They're just blind firing at this point. And the longer I wait to fire, uh, the more projectiles I'm going to fire out. So when I go like that, it's just going to be an endless storm of damage. Uh, same with this guy. He thinks he's very strong. We're going to get right up on his behind and absolutely wreck him with those. Whoops. Didn't expect him to fire out the rear. Uh, he can do a whole bunch of things, but he's already dead. Uh, we have some of those coming in. This guy's got a shield on the front and jellyfish, but we go around his shield. I think it's time we get calibrate. So our weapons calibrate over time. Uh, so that's going to help them, especially as I'm sitting here waiting. And this will improve targeting. So I think that means they're going to be a little bit better at finding, their, uh, finding the enemies. Because to be fair, uh, speaking of which, uh, a lot of my shots weren't really actually hitting things. They're just kind of going out into nowhere land. So this will make them uh, more accurate. Probably should take care of all those bombs on the right side, huh? Oh, especially that thing. That's upgrades. We'll always go for those. Okay, these three are all, I think, elites. That's why they're yellow. Uh, and that's a lot of damage. So we'll go ahead and, uh, you know, we'll go ahead and kill you here. How about that? I'm going to get this one also. Uh, greatly improves targeting. So now, yeah, that's much more accurate. They're curving much quicker to hit the enemies. Wow, that's so much better. I like that. Now I can just sort of fire in any old direction. Uh, plus my damage is also like my calibration and stuff is going up. So we got a lot of damage going out given how I just did that. We're going to try homing strike. Firing your weapon launches a pair of smaller weapon projectiles from your broadsides. Launches an additional pair for every five of your weapon projectiles. So the more we fire, the more we fire. Okay, we got some kind of elite coming in. We're going to go invisible to build up our salvo a little bit because that thing's going to get annoying. And there we go. We're going to hit it with all of that. Almost walked into the giant uh, hammer thing. Okay, going to avoid those. Got him dead and all the upgrade points. This is great. How about this? Convergence. Further improves weaponing targeting plus two projectiles. Uh, we lose rate of fire, but that's going to be okay because uh, we need less rate of fire when we uh, fire super projectiles in all directions. We'll give this a little test. Yeah, those really curve hard now. And then there's less waste. Wave 60, this should be a boss of some kind that may or may not have hurt me. We're going to build up here is going to be 100 projectiles soon. Here you go. Before you do anything too scary, you can, uh, it circles ate a lot of my bullets, actually. Uh, don't hit its thermal lens. Get away from it. Way away from it. Good, good, good. Bad, bad, bad. By the time I collected myself, I just fired off a salvo and that obviously killed it because we'd saved up a lot of bullets again. Ooh, we have another super mod. 5% weapon damage, uh, velocity, projectile size, blast radius, rate of fire. Basically better everything, which seems silly right now. But we got some waves to go. This is going to be an elite of some kind. Uh, he's going to fire off into nowhere because he can't actually see us, which is funny. And then we're going to fire a few salvos right into his face. Uh, and then we're going to move because he didn't actually die. Uh, you know, we're going to give him a little kiss. We're going to get out of his way. And where am I? Oh, wait, there I am. Uh, yeah, it took me a second to find myself because I couldn't. I was distracted by a giant orange blob. But we got everything back under control. And we're going to fire a few more of these to clear myself some space. It's really not going to take many hits to kill us. I'm going to increase my burn damage as well. Uh, that way, whatever we hit, if it doesn't immediately die, it will burn to death shortly thereafter. And I think we could probably kill all these in one little salvo here. Uh, if not, they should burn to death shortly thereafter. Look at all that fire damage even. That's crazy high. We're also going to get corrosive stacks, which is basically burning as well. When we hit things, they're going to start to corrode. The more we hit them, the more they corrode. That's going to be really good against bosses and stuff, because we could basically just hit them, and then we can go invisible while they're burning and corroding to death. This is also a very uh, anti-worm build, as it turns out. This is also pretty good, this anti-life build in general. And I do like how we fire out all sides. Normally that works against us, but when we're surrounded by enemies, we can just fire like that, and our bullets go in all directions, and they turn hard. Nothing is safe from me now. Not even space jellyfish. We're going to hope most of my bullets, yeah, go just like that ar around the shield. He's actually burning to death. I don't know if I need to touch him again, but we're gonna. They're definitely sending bigger stacks of enemies this time. Uh, still don't know if many things are going to be able to get through my salvo alive. 
I am going to do 20% uh, faster shield cooldown, cooldown again. So it's down to 4.17 seconds, I believe, if I'm reading that correctly. So that's much quicker than it was otherwise. And that's really, really important because sometimes you really, really need that back. We're going to fight a giant space beetle now. Uh, and I like how I don't even need to fire near it to uh, do damage to it. Oh, it's got it like on and off shield. I get it. Okay, we're going to get away from those. I think we should be able to blow this up fairly easily. Ow, that really hurt, but uh, it hit the enemy. So good. And then we're going to fight Warbringer, which is a really, really cool name if you're four years old. And we'll go ahead and hit it with all the corrosive and fire. Uh, if we sit back here, we should mostly be able to take out its little uh, bombs it drops out. And pretty much just fire right into its backside like this and corrode it and burn it really badly. We don't need to let the salvos build up here really because, uh, well, we can just let the damage speak for itself. Gonna let my shield recharge here a little bit because something was hitting me there. Uh, once the salvo builds up though, our damage does also with it. We're gonna circle around him. Okay, we're okay. And fire. We're gonna hit a lot of those uh, in the front of him. That was close. That might have killed me. This is really interesting. Purification. 20% burn damage and ignite damage. Yes. 0.4 hull and shields recovered per second for each ignited enemy. So if enemies are burning, we're healing. Basically, I'm considering myself invincible. We lose 20% damage, but I feel like we're not gonna miss that 20% very much. We have a stupid amount of damage. Got another elite coming in, so hope you like all these. Got them. I really am a fan of this because, like, I don't need to aim. I can just fire any direction and my bullets find them. Like, normally these are really annoying because they'll just come toward me consistently and do that. They're still a little bit annoying because I did manage to miss still with my heat-seeking bullets. Okay, we're also going to get kinetic boost. Global damage increases as your speed dies, so as we're moving faster, we do more damage. Which is very important because we miss doing lots of damage, clearly. Oh, and the space spiders. This will be fun. I know they're about to charge forward, but I'm pretty confident they'll die before they get there. We're going to go invisible and hide from these two idiots. And then we'll come out of cloaking and, well, they can try and dodge all they want, but good luck dodging these. They'll follow you around. Uh, the meteors came through and just wiped the map. I'll take credit for that anyway. Those are my kills. Thank you. I guess we can do this one too when you're not thrusting. 15% total hull and shield damage resistance. Uh, I'm not actually thrusting that much because uh, thrusting leads me into trouble in this. So that's actually going to give us a lot of resistance. Uh, which is good against times like this. Like usually when these guys hit me, I'm not thrusting. So they'll do far less damage. We're going to get another one of these when we're going to get idiots lining up across the board. But we'll kill them easily. We better take magnitude as well. Increase projectile size, damage, and blast rate. Yes. can't believe we didn't have that one already. So that's going to help uh, for situations like this when there's just lots of idiots. Wave 100, so we got to fight this, which is a boss. We're hopefully going to get lots of bullets out on that boss, and then we got to stay very mobile because this one can hurt a lot. We don't want to be in front. We want to be way over here or something. Our bullets will find them and all the enemies anyway, so it's actually a really good build for this boss in particular. I just smashed into it twice, so we just took a ton of damage. Uh, okay, we gotta get ourselves under control here, because that was a lot of our health. Our health is coming back, and so we're all shield, but I want to actually get this back. You know what? We can go for it now. You're gonna die. Yeah, there we go. It's dead. That was a lot more dramatic than I thought it would be. Uh, but I did also get bonked out of control, and that was my own fault. I'm going to take regenerative shields as well. It simply adds passive shield regeneration. We have quite a bit of shield too, so that's actually just simply going to add up quite nicely. I'm pretty sure that guy ran over his friend, uh, which is really, really good for me. Uh-oh, don't touch that. Those have killed me so many times. Uh, then that guy's... Uh, oh, he's not dead yet. It always tricks me because they have to explode six times to actually die. Wave 105. I don't actually know what that big swirly thing was. Doesn't really matter. This guy's going to be a little bit hard to hit because, like, our projectiles are probably going to hit their orbs a lot. Uh, we're going to stay way away from that and circle around. Thermal lances hurt a lot if we get into them, but that's better. That should about finish them off because they're going to burn as well. Got them. Depending on how big these ships are, I feel like our, our explosive, uh, explosives could be big enough to destroy an entire galaxy at this point. We're getting massive chain reactions with enough enemies. Uh, this wave could be a little bit difficult. I've got to stay uh, away from the business end of these things. And oh, we can actually destroy their bombs. Okay, well, that makes it easy. We did lose our shield there, but it's coming back quick. Especially once we go like that, that's going to take care of him and that and build up our entire salvo. So that thing got absolutely wrecked. These guys will too, because they're very brittle. Oh, we're also going to take absorption. That just gives us plating. It's basically damage reduction. And there's not really a downside to that, so we'll take that all day long. We got two more uh, very scary elites showing up. Uh, we're going to, for some reason, fly right through their massive damage and hit them with everything we got. I think I fired in the wrong direction to begin with, so we missed with our salvo. These guys will be easy because I can mostly chain reaction them very much. We got different colored triangles, both of which died rather easily. That hurt a lot. I'm glad we have lots of shield and damage resistance. 
This is a good one for us. Greatly increased weapon damage, uh, increased projectile size, and blast radius. Look at all that good stuff. We lose rate of fire. But I don't necessarily need a lot of rate of fire, considering I can just uh, go invisible and hide from things. I just really need to stop doing things like that. Uh, these guys are actually really dangerous for me. But usually two salvos and they're done. But what I need is just uh, to fire my salvo, disappear, and then fire another one. We'll do more damage that way. And it's time for the boss fight. So we're going to get them with a big old salvo. That took off actually 5% of their HP, which is pretty impressive considering what this thing is. Uh, we're going to try and go invisible here. I'm not sure if we can actually hide from this boss or not. But I can avoid a lot of its damage just by not being where the damage is. And then we're going to fire a big salvo, which will be massive damage again. And then we just go over here carefully. Its black holes are expanding rapidly. Oh, it's almost dead, actually. We're doing so much damage. I didn't realize how much we were doing. Especially when my weapon builds up and calibrates like this. As soon as it shows up again. You gonna stay on the screen for a sec? Yep, perfect. And got him. Big dramatic explosion later. That better be a lot of upgrade points. Okay, it was a lot of upgrade points. I'm gonna get force armor, 10% uh, hull damage resistance, and we get all sorts of... Uh, we add crash damage and crash resistance. Which is good, because that's probably my most damaging way is when I run into things. I'm not trying to sound stupid, but I absolutely am, so I run into things way more than I should. Oh, look at this thing. That would be a nightmare to fight under different circumstances. But we're going to wait for their shields to go down, and... Mm, well, we got him defeated. This thing also defeated. We're not going to touch those. That might be a nice chain reaction. Uh, we had an upgrade worm behind us. Not sure what that thing is, but we'll just go ahead and kill these all. Oh, this thing can be really annoying. Uh, we need to remember to stay away from its front side where it has that thermal lance going. That's the one that can hurt me. Pretty sure we just got to get a few salvos on it though, and it's going to burn to death really quickly. Maybe if we get close, we can just get all of our salvo into it. That worked. Now we just finish these guys off. Those bullets are so efficient. Oh, splinter. I wish we had this one a while ago. Causes your primary projectiles to splinter into smaller projectiles. So now all of our projectiles are going to have projectiles of their own. Okay, this is starting to feel a little bit silly at this point, because like, that. I had to do basically nothing. And again, we have to do nothing, because our projectiles will hit them, kill them, and splinter into more little projectiles. To the point where we're really actually killing a lot of things just off the edge of the map. Like, I could just fire in any direction, and the whole screen gets wiped. Uh, I accidentally just picked Burst Fire. I'm not really sure what effect that's going to have on this build. But uh, we'll find out now. It might not actually have anything. That, that was a lot of bullets though, wasn't it? Oh, don't touch the beetle. So we're going to fire at that just to kind of see what happens. He missed entirely. Uh, not sure what that was about. But that's fine. I won't complain. We'll just go ahead and murder him instead. I'm accidentally killing most things now. Like the bullets just go around and hit everything. All directions just murder. I haven't seen a lot of worms this time around. Not sure where they've all been hiding. Wanted to wait for the enemies to build up a little bit more on this round to see if there'd be a little bit more of a challenge, but there really wasn't. These guys would be, but I can just go invisible after not moving for a sec or uh, shooting and then <laughs> that. They are getting slightly more creative with what they're throwing at me though. Uh, but <laughs> given the amount of things we're firing, not really feeling a challenge. But the next boss might be insanely strong because we are past the end of the game at this point in endless mode. We did find another super mod. This one is very rare. When you are destroyed, a massive blast levels your enemies. You were reborn with minus 60% maximum hull and shields, uh, but we get a lot more experience. And I'll take a free resurrection. That's just going to allow me to play with even more confidence that I don't need. Uh, this one sounds really good because my projectiles would uh, destroy enemy projectiles. The problem is you take heavy hull self damage when you fire. The damage is slightly increased for each additional weapon projectile you fire. So the longer I wait the more damage I would do to myself. So I think I'm actually going to reroll and we're going to hope for a better super mod than that. Uh, we got antimatter rounds again. That might be the only one we can get right now. Uh, we can also get adrenal module. Causes more damage the more damage you are. Uh, that would actually stack with antimatter rounds. And since antimatter rounds are the only mod we seem to be able to get, let's buy it. I don't know how much hull damage it's going to do, but our hull does regenerate. So let's fire ourselves off at 50. Oh, that only hurt us like 10% and we regenerate that in a couple of seconds. Uh, now we're doing massively more damage and we're destroying enemy projectiles. We're taking damage from ourselves, but we're also pretty much invincible. So, eat 56 projectiles. We're so safe because those will eat oh, so many enemy projectiles. There you go. We're going to fire right into your front. No, I lied. We're going to uh, slip around the back and there we go. Easy peasy. I'm also going to try focused fire. Uh, that's going to help my projectiles fire more at the front. It's not really going to matter much, uh, simply because they're so good at uh, homing that they find what they're looking for. Whoops. Whoops. Uh, triple whoops. Uh, we okay? Yeah, we're perfectly fine. Even bashing into all those things, we're perfectly fine. Ooh, look at all those things. This is going to be a fun chain reaction. Eh, it took two salvos. Well, maybe three. 
That's okay, we got him eventually. Okay, so we're gonna do charged shot, and there's a whole bunch of super mods that can come with that, but also if we uh, charge our shot, uh, we actually gain projectiles. So as soon as we get a little bit more peace on the screen, we'll try that because there's a lot of danger potential right now. We're going to scoot away from all that and all that as well. And wow, that's a lot of damage. Okay, we're going to find a peaceful moment and fire away. And that's hopefully going to clean things up for us a little bit. That worked wonders. Okay, we're going to try and hold up the shot a little bit here. Whoops. Wow, that's a lot of damage. Okay, did not expect that. I was charging up my shot being an idiot. Uh, you know what? That's fine. Maybe charge shot, I don't physically charge up. Uh, it just automatically adds projectiles. I'm a little unclear of the terms of that, but enemies are spawning like crazy suddenly. Getting two of these guys. What is this thing? It's uh, dead whatever it was, but they like shift in and out of uh, reality. Well, let's try a few rerolls, seeing if a super mod will show up, and it already did. This one won't be super helpful to us, but when you are charging your weapon, damage dealt to your shield increases the charge. So uh, it's also 5% maximum hold and weapon damage, which helps. We're not going to take a lot of damage while charging. I guess if we do, great, but uh, it's mostly just a flat 5% damage boost. But this is a perfect volunteer to see how much damage this is going to be. Because uh, that was like the first boss, I think, in an upgraded form even, and we one-shotted it end of friend. Okay, we got a black hole coming in, so my only goal now is to stay way away from that. I got lots of thruster power, but um, these things have a <laughs> very good way of defeating me. It happens quite often. It's also defeating all my enemies for me, but as long as I'm just sort of uh, playing over here on this side of the map, we're okay. Okay, got another one of these. Uh, this was definitely a lot of problems before, but I think we're okay to stop getting hit by those and we'll be okay. Go bullets, go. These things are always so tough and they teleport. Oh, and that way we take direct hits. Gotta remember when they teleport, they turn quickly. But we're gonna let our bullets charge up a little bit. I think it's about dead anyway, like any little thing is going to. Wait, where's its health? Oh, the health bar is reading for the wrong enemy. I get it now. These things are so tough. Like, I'm having more trouble with this than I did the final boss. There is so much damage uh, flying my way that it's actually getting kind of nerve-wracking. But we got that thing dead. And there's another one. Outstanding. Just what we wanted. Uh, luckily, I have my homing missiles that are just going to destroy everything on my behalf. And I don't really need to aim or think. I just try not to touch the yellow things. I think I actually just died and got resurrected. Yep, I sure did, because I don't know what. I touch a lot of damage. It's, uh, the end. It was thanks to that stupid thing. But we made it so far. 